Ciao guys, how's it going? Welcome to this new video. Today we're gonna see a modern classic, the Espresso Martini, which was invented in 1983-ish from a certain Dick Bradsell. Why you should know who he is? Because he invented many modern classics, such as for example uh, the Bramble. Having said that, today we're gonna see the Espresso Martini by the classic way, and then a little twist in Espresso Martini with a touch of amaretto and star anise, which makes a nice and spicy, refreshing, coffee flavored cocktail. Having said that, let's go to fill our martini glass with a little bit of ice to make it chill then put it on the side therefore let's go to open up our chicken and let's go to pour first of all soli vodka 35 ml Then, second ingredient, obviously, Kalua coffee liquor, 25 ml. Then, third ingredient, you can miss it, fresh brewed coffee. So, espresso, you will need 35 ml. Then let's go for the sugar syrup, 10 ml will be enough. Fantastic. Now, recommendation, if you want to make a formula, you should use about 50 ml of espresso. But we're going to go for the classic one, so we're going to go for the 35 ml. Close it up very well. The obvious is to mess up your bowl shaking some espresso fantastic then go to shake we're gonna use the same method of the sour we're gonna actually make a, a wave so you know what to do by now just this way and go to shake very hard for about 30 seconds and now we're gonna fine strain this cocktail We're gonna garnish with three coffee beans as classic ones. So we're gonna give kind of a benediction to our espresso team. And we're gonna set them in a flower shape, just this way. Oh, faith and love. Fantastic. Let's go to make this twist. For our twist, we will need again 35 ml of stone vodka. Then again, cut them up, but this time something is gonna change. It's gonna, gonna be 25 mil, it's gonna raise up to 30, and it's gonna be divided by 15 mil of Kalua, 15 mil of Hamaretto to give a nice and sweet half the taste. Obviously fresh espresso, 35 ml again. And last piece of the puzzle is the sugar syrup, 10 ml once again. The only change is really this around 15 ml. Then go to close your shaker, close it well. Again, don't mess up your walls. Keep it strong again, shake it up for about 30 seconds, making like a wave with your shaker. Go to double strain once again your martini. This way. So, one further recommendation is, if you own one of those, one of those uh, coupette glasses, it's similar to the martini, just a little different, use that one, because it's uh, much better, it makes much foamier cocktails. And since that, let's go to garnish. Now is the moment of 
the sardines to give a fresh flavor to the nose. So, today we got a use uh, of it, which uh, is with our espresso coffee after lunch. To the bar, we ask for a drop of liqueur inside, which is habaretto, can be sambuca, and we call it Cafe Corretto. Therefore, I decided to go for the name of Martin Corretto, just to remind me of Italy. And that was all, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please, you know what to do. Press the like, subscribe, and activate the notification. Very important step to stay focused with us of confidence in shape. If you make any, send us the pictures. Thank you very much for watching again, and enjoy the rest of your day. Double cheese for me, my favorite, fantastic.